You're watching Telecom TV from Mobile World Congress 2019 in Barcelona. And joining me now is Helmut Reisinger, CEO of Orange Business Services. Helmut, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. What's the current state of the enterprise market? Well, first of all, the enterprise markets are very dynamic, uh, and that is driven by the simple fact that the B2B segment, the enterprises, will account in five years for more than 60% of all the data that is being produced around the world. This was not the same in 2015. This was driven by the social media wave and by the grand public, as we would say in France, or by the mass consumer market. Now it's the enterprise tech grain of the data generation, which is the new oil, as we know, very much of the future. Now that means that the question for us as a provider of digital services to enterprises across the globe, we need to be able to integrate both and to generate value out of this data by doing our telco services that will be fueled again by 5G, for example, but then also to do the integration with all of the kind of cloud digital and data, as well as the IoT story of the world. Of course, everything being cyber secured end to end. And speaking of 5G, what stage is Orange at with its rollout of 5G, especially with regard to the enterprise service market? Well, we believe that 5G, like the internet of enterprises, is an ecosystem play. And we are strengthening a lot everything which is around the, what we call, connected mobility or smart mobility, which is one of the big avenues that, um, that uh, 5G brings, which is the massification of the IoT offering. So we are doing already some field trials, for example, using 5G for fire detection observation on drones, where you need one aspect that is so critical and fundamental when using 5G, which is the real-time enterprise. 5G brings not only speed, but it allows the transformational aspect of business. I would say 3G, 4G, they have been very much focused on devices, very much focused on connectivity. Here in the segment of B2B, we focus very much on business transformation aspects that 5G brings and it's this real-time connotation. And as I said, fi uh, the internet of enterprises where Orange Business Services strives to be a leader is an ecosystem play. And in an ecosystem, you need to partner. I mean, we provide, of course, the lovely connectivity then on 3G, 4G, 5G, or fiber, wherever in the, uh, in the world, depending on, uh, uh, on the access connectivity. However, this needs to be integrated. And there, we believe strongly in co-innovation. And that's why we focus also our first trials a lot co-innovating directly with the business of the customers. Because it needs an understanding for which the French have a very nice word, which is called the métier. And therefore, combining technology understanding of the métier with our consultative approach helps us to become this leader in the Internet of Enterprises. Do we yet know which of the vertical markets will be the biggest users of 5G? Well, first of all, we have just announced in late December uh, a big win on smart mobility. But this is not 5G, this is LoRa, which uh, again shows its wide range, low power usage for three million households uh, based on LoRa technology across France uh, that we are deploying with Veolia. And what I want to say there is, it's about integration, it's about coexistence of different methods depending on the métier. To your question, what are the priority métiers and industry that we will see? It's wherever you have a big need for the real-time character of a given need and solution. Now that could be in smart mining. You know today, a self-driving truck in an Australian mine that we serve, they are producing terabits of data per day, not per year, per day. This needs to be managed. That's why coexistence between different forms of connectivity, but also having the capability to use fixed data backhauling, which is critical, because, and then to host it into the cloud and to analyze it will be very critical. So smart mining is one, smart agriculture, the uh, smart, um, uh, smart factories or industry 4.0. We believe that 5G will be again another key topic for smart cities and of course in the e-health arena. And this coexistence and integration capability are very critical because what we provide to our customers is this promise of the data journey, which means we take care of collecting data, that's the IoT story, that's the promise of the 5G. 
collecting data, for example, on a vessel in Vladivostok, where we do an IoT application to monitor the, the fuel consumption on the generator. Uh, it's then transporting the data, it can be mobile, it can be fixed, whatever is adequate. Then it's about storing and computing, that's our cloud offering, private or public, we are not religious about this. Then it's about analyzing the data, because you want to, to bring value to the data. You know, data per se is raw data. You need to aggregate it, you need to structure it, and then you can extract value if you apply algorithms. Then, of course, it's about using this data to collaborate and to create something, but everything has to be cyber secured end to end, because in the Internet of Enterprises, if data is not protected, the intellectual property is not protected, it means the value of an enterprise goes down to zero very fast. And that's why we believe having a bit two brains on our side, not only mobile and fixed, but as well telco and an IT and integration brain, which is what I call the carrier grade integration capability, IT and integration capability, is the right answer. And if I take an architectural point of view, I believe 5G will be a kind of a keystone in these different architectures that we have, which will provide this real-time effect for our enterprise customers across the world. You've spoken several times about the importance of the ecosystem. Collaboration is therefore very important for 5G rollout. What's your challenge to the ecosystem? What do they all need to do to help you, as a CSP, deliver services to the market? Well, first of all, it needs the openness and the understanding to learn. I think what we all need to apply, and that's why we put co-innovation so critically uh, and important to our teams, but also to our ecosystem. I think it's all about co-innovating together with our customers. If I may, a lot of people talk about the geopolitics at the moment between China and the US. I do believe, yes, there is a technological question about 5G, but there is also a question of the application. And here, I hope, and I'm rather convinced, there will be a renaissance of Europe because we have all of this industrial know-how, which means understanding the metier of a given customer, where you apply technologies, and this needs integration capability. That's why I believe there will be a renaissance of the European aspect into making sure that 5G harnesses the value. And therefore, in terms of the ecosystem demand, what we have is to talk to different players. There are technology players, there are business players, there are our customers, and there are established players, but also startups. That's why with Orange Digital Ventures, we also work with startups to ensure we have the right speed of learning as well as co-innovating with the customers. And last but not least, that's why we have also adopted our new claim, which is companies thrive on innovation. We work to shape yours. Hamlet, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. Thank you, Guy.